Hey guys and dolls. This is my Ed Hardy Lisa Frank combination, um, or rather their team up inspired makeup tutorial. Um, I love, love, loved uh, Lisa Frank as a little girl. My whole room was Lisa Franked out. Uh, my mom also really loves color, which is probably where I get it from. And um, she, her, she has a craft room, and the entire thing is just head to toe bright colors. And so I call it her Lisa Frank room. Um, so when I was at Walmart the other day, and I saw not only cool Lisa Frank stuff, which I don't know, somehow I just forgot about Lisa Frank or something. And then I saw uh, that it was actually Ed Hardy designs with Lisa Frank colors. And yeah, Ed Hardy's kind of a douche. He's like the biggest sellout in tattoos. But whatever, I still like his designs. Um, when I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. So I actually bought a bunch of little mini notebooks for my contest that's coming up. So yay. But I bought myself a big notebook because I loved this design. I love the skulls. I love the colors. Um, I love that it's kind of like bat wings on the skull. It's like a butterfly. I fell in love with this and actually needed a new notebook to write things down for YouTube. So um, I was so inspired by this. I actually bought this about almost a month ago. And I decided I would do an eyeshadow outfit for you guys based on this. So this video is going to be kind of long because this intro is already really long. And um, because I really wanted to show you guys a detailed process. So, I used mostly high-end eyeshadows for this. I used MAC, NYX, um, Lumiere Cosmetics, just a bunch of different stuff, um, and Red Cherry Lashes. Um, these are actually some really fun ones that I just got. They just came in the mail, like, yesterday. Um, but this is totally dupable with the 120 palette. So what I'm going to do is, as I say what color I'm using from MAC or whatever, I use Makeup Forever to, um, number 92, best purple ever. It's going to turn out, doesn't look good on camera, but it looks really good in person. Um, so as I'm using the eyeshadow in the video, over here will be the dupe. Now, I'm going to have a code, like, it'll say, like, A7, um, Go to my blog to kind of decode the code. I Hopefully I will be able to get my palette labeled and everything before I give this up, but otherwise I'll just explain it on there. I really hope you guys enjoy this look. I absolutely adore this look. I'm so excited about it just because I love Lisa Frank. I'm thinking I might do a few more Lisa Frank inspired looks, like maybe like a Lisa Frank rainbow or something, which is basically just a rainbow, but when you say Lisa Frank it's more fun. Um, I know two other YouTubers have done really, really painfully similar looks to this lately, and I was actually crushed. I'm, su I'm subscribed to both them, and I think they're both amazing makeup artists. And so when I saw their looks, I was literally crushed. I almost didn't make this video, but I love the looks so much, I just had to do it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys very, very soon. My contest is coming up very soon. I'm just waiting for a couple more things to come in the mail. So I hope you guys are going to get involved in everything um yeah so have a great weekend and remember to be vintage or tacky but just be yourself so the first thing that i i did is i just put um two face shadow insurance all over my both my lids now i'm taking nyx white eyeshadow um and i'm gonna apply that all over my lid as my base now, if you're using the 120 palette, I would recommend using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk or some kind of um, a light or white colored stickier base. Um, the 120 palette eyeshadows kind of don't have as good of a cling as my MAC shadows do, but my MAC shadows tend to be a little bit drier. So, you, believe it or not, using um, a white um, eyeshadow as a base helps make them blend better because this is kind of creamy. It's not a cream eyeshadow at all. It's totally a powder. But it has a smooth and creamier and more blendable um, texture than most of my MAC shadows. So I'm just using a fluffy brush to put that all over both my lids and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the white all over my lids, and you'll see I didn't take it all the way up to the brow bone, only because, um, for me, when I take pictures, it makes it just look too stark white, and I'm already really pale, so 
Anyway, so I'm taking a MAC pigment, and this is called Magenta Madness. Um, this was actually sent to me as a gift from a wonderful subscriber, and her name is Mary. So, Mary, thank you very, very much. I really, really appreciate it. So, I'm using it, and it's this crazy, intense, bright, hot pink. I mean, it's, like, painful to look at. It's actually brighter than my hair color, if you can imagine that. And, um, it's one of the MAC Pro pigments. So I just got a little tiny bit of that on my brush. I just used what was in the caps, rolled around, and then I tapped it off. In fact, I'm going to tap it off again to get any extra powder off. And I'm just going to draw, basically draw my crease. Um, I'm going to apply that on my crease. This is going to help to pink up the purple that I'm putting on top. Because, you know, Lisa Frank is all about the pink and the purple. Okay, and then I'm going to do my other side, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you got that uh, pink on there, I'm going to take a Makeup Forever number 92. And unfortunately on my camera, this turns out, it looks so blue, but it's definitely purple. It's actually not too far off from my tank top. Um, this is the best purple eyeshadow on the planet, and if you don't have it, I highly recommend that you get it because you will love it. The only downside about this one that I see is that it kind of stains me. Um, just me personally, I know lots of people that it doesn't stain them. And it's a little bit dry in texture, which is why I put all the other layers of the other eyeshadows down. So I'm going to take this with an angled brush and basically draw a line and then sweep the color in from that line. And actually after after you've drawn that line, you can use that same blender brush to apply more and blend it in. Okay, so now I'm going to add some yellow. I know I said I wasn't going to use yellow in tutorials. Um, it's just my personal thing about using yellow too much. I don't want you guys to be like, oh my god, she uses yellow in every video. But I like yellow eyeshadow. Um, and it actually is part of the, the color schematic for, uh, for Lisa Frank. So I'm sorry, I'm using yellow. Um, I'm going to be using a 228 brush. You could use one of these like little low Cornell brushes. I just like this one. But honestly, and mine, they've been terribly abused, and so these ones aren't as fluffy as they used to be, but this one's pretty fluffy. But use whatever you want. So I'm taking my little mini shader brush, and I'm first dipping it into Chrome Yellow Eyeshadow from MAC. And I'm just going to put that right there on the inner corner, just kind of pack it on. So I'm packing it on, but I'm keeping it within the natural curvature of my lid. I don't want to go up too far beyond that because I'm going to be adding um, my highlight color there. And then you want to blend it outward onto the lid. And then start with your next color. I'm going to use Goldenrod from MAC. This is one of the pro colors. And just blend that right alongside the yellow and then take that all the way take that one all the way up to where the purple and the white meet white meat <laughs> and then again blend that one out Okay, now to make that a little bit more orange, I'm actually going to use a Medusa's makeup color called Electro Orange. Um, this one has a little bit of glitter in it, so what I do is I get it on my brush and then I knock my brush against my, ta my table, and it usually knocks out most of the glitter. Um, you could use Max Orange or Rule or something like that, just this one's a little bit more yellow toned, so it, it blends better with the other ones. And just apply that basically over the outer edge of where you have the goldenrod or have not past tense and 
and then again you want to blend it a little bit so that it will blend seamlessly with the next color. Next I'm taking another color from Medusa's makeup. This one's called Electro Pink and again it has little glitters in it so I'm going to knock off the glitters. And this is our last color so I'm just going to occupy the outer part of the lid this color. So I haven't been explaining this all along, but basically the way that I use, that I blend when I have multiple colors on the lid like this, it's just a back and forth kind of emotion like this. I mean, it's, I think it's been kind of obvious if you guys have been watching how I'm doing it, but that way I'm actually verbally explaining it. That I just do side by side motions. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back. So now your makeup should look something like this to where the purple fades in in the middle and all the colors blend seamlessly together and it's crazy bright and you could probably scare some people. Um, I'm kind of wiping off my brush just dry on my clean towel. Then I'm going to take NYX white eyeshadow again and get some of that on my little mini shader brush and I'm going to fill in or basically add an inner corner highlight and, uh, and then blend it up into the purple. Now I'm taking a densely packed um, shader brush. I really don't know what to call this. This is a NYX brush that I have. Um, the other NYX brush that I have totally busted on me, but this one works pretty good, so whatever. I'm taking the NYX white eyeshadow again. And I got a little bit of that on my brush, and I'm just going to go around the edges of the purple to give it this really cool faded out look. Not that it isn't already faded out, but this just adds to it. You can drag the white into it. This is basically kind of like a 227 from MAC. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side and I'll be right back. I totally forgot the dark purple. So now I'm going to take, uh, this is called Climate Blue from MAC. There's totally a dupe for it in the 120 palette again, like all the other colors there's dupes for it. So look over here for the dupe in the 120 palette. Got some of that on that same brush that I used to blend out the edge. And I'm just going to put that in the outer corner of where the purple is. I just placed it with that color, with that brush. And then I blend it out with the same brush that I used to blend all the rest of the purple and the pink. Because the, the one that I'm copying, uh, which I don't think, I don't know if I can show it. Screw it. The one that I'm copying, it has like this bright purple and then it has like a, a light blue and then a medium blue and then like a navy purpley blue. So I thought that would be good for this. Okay, so I applied my eyeliner and mascara and I put on a fuchsia lip liner from NYX. And uh, the reason why I put on a full lip of lip liner is because A, I love this color, and B, I have a scar on my lip, and this is kind of a sheer lipstick, so I wanted to kind of cover that up as much as I can. This is a super bright pink. I think my camera's totally washing out the color, but it is painfully bright. Love it. It kind of comes out sheer on your lips, which is kind of a bummer. But it smells like grape soda, and it's uh, the texture of it is great, really balmy. Um, and this is one of the Black Label lipsticks from NYX. And it's cool because it has the color at the bottom, so you can see which one it is if you have them all stacked like that. Anyway. So 
that concludes my Lisa Frank and Ed Hardy look. This is where I drew my inspiration. Um, I loved this so much as a kid, and so I was really, really excited to do something. You know, my first love of color and my current love of color is uh, makeup. So, um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and got some use out of the fact that you can dupe it with a 120 palette in case you don't have um, the MAC shadows I used. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will also have a nail, po nail polish haul video um, before this video or after it. You guys are going to vote on it on Twitter. And also, I want to show you guys my nail polish really quick because I've got pink on this side, purple on this side. Anyway, um... Yay for Lisa Frank, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.